Congrats to Cam, Sammy, Jotty, second place at the state golf tournament. Did you have any fun out here the last couple days? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a good round, a couple rounds, so pretty excited. What was your goal coming into this thing? My goal was top five and the individuals to finish, and I think I, I set my goal pretty high, I think, since I got last year, and I think I, I did good getting in it. What kind of a score did you think it might take to win it or to or to be up in that top five? And did you exceed that with which your 150, what was it, 154, 155 total? Yeah, I knew it was going to take definitely a uh, couple rounds in the 70s. I knew that for sure. So I knew how to get there if I wanted a top five finish. What was your mindset like after yesterday you weren't able to get the round completed and knowing that today was going to be a really big day? Yesterday I finished pretty strong, I think, after the 13th pool. And then... Today I just knew how to finish this round up, or yesterday's round up, so I finished that round strong and I today I came out and played my front nine pretty well and then my back it got a little shaky at times but I mean, it ended up alright. At any point during today's action did you know where you were in relation to the lead? Um, not really today, I knew yesterday night, but I think it's better that way if I don't know. So. Yeah. so uh, Coach Willem said you had a, almost a hole-in-one on the 10th today. Describe that one for us. Yeah, uh, I wasn't sure about my club length there, and then I hit it, and it was all luck. That's all I got to say. <laughs> hit the pin and bounced out a little bit, but it was pretty amazing. What were some of the other strong holes you had these last two days? Um, I birdied number five, or number two, and that's a handicap hole, so that was like a strong hole for me. And then Number 12, I believe, I birdied it twice, both days, so I mean, those were probably two of the strongest ones I had. And then I had a couple stretches where I was on a birdie run, so that always helps out. Is it harder to shake off a tough shot here compared to maybe just a regular season duel where there's not as much on the line? Uh, I think so. I mean, you have to stay focused here and you got to make sure you know what you're doing. Does your finish today make you hungrier to get back here next year and maybe get that top honor? Yeah, it, I mean, that would be a big dream of mine, so definitely. When you saw the score that Annika Patton put up from Alta Aurelia, what kind of, when did you find out and what went through your mind then when you realized what she had turned in? Um, I didn't find out until I got in, and I mean, that's an amazing round that she shot, and super stoked. That's a really good round. So, three-time top ten state finisher. What does that accomplishment mean to you? I mean, it's something that I've always dreamed about, like I said. And I just hope I can get back here next year and get that top spot next year. There's always a big crowd at state. Uh, a lot of family and people supporting not just you, but the rest of the golfers. What's it like to have that type of a following? I mean, it's amazing because I mean, my family's always been there for me and support me and my coaches and my friends and stuff. So, I mean, I really enjoy having people follow me and it doesn't bother me that much. Would you say you played your best golf all season long at the end of the year? What, you know, how would you kind of evaluate the entire season? Um, I started off not as, I mean, it wasn't going really that good. And then middle of the season got a little bit better. And then I think once I got here, I really focused in and I really knew what I had to do. So I think I played my best rounds here at State, which is really amazing. Coach Willem said maybe it was a good thing that today was, you know, 20 plus holes because you kind of have the um, physical and mental capability to, uh, ability to handle that. Would you agree? Yeah, I think that it was, I knew it coming in that I had to play it. So I just stuck to it. And What's the plan of attack this off season? Um, just get out and practice, and that's about it. Anything in particular you're going to work on the most? Not really. I mean, I'll just work on all of it. How tough are these media interviews after finishing second? <laughs> Pretty tough. You got a lot of them, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Man, it's a lot of work. It's all worth it, though, right? Yes. All right. Well, um, any other highlights you can think of as far as the last two rounds uh, here in Marshalltown? Did you learn much about the course from last year that you used your advantage this year? Yeah, I think I've learned how to, from last year to this year, I think I've learned how to play it better and smarter and just know where I'm going and stuff. So. Does it fit your game pretty well? Yes, it does. All right. 
We're all done. Thank Thanks you. for your time.